What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. I hope you're doing super well today. I hope you're staying home. I hope you're staying safe. Just waiting for this thing to blow over. I know all of us are waiting on this to just blow over. And from what I understand, from what I'm hearing, it will blow over. This too shall pass. We're going to be fine through this. So what I want to talk about today is, is while you're at home, Okay, while you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything, I want you to be super productive. I'm going to do a couple of videos for the next couple of days about things you can do while you're at your house to stay productive. Today, I want to talk to you about calling your past clients. I think this is something that should be number one. What you should do very first in these situations is reach back out to all of your past clients, see how they're doing, see what's going on, see what you can do to help them. So I'm going to go through a little script here. Before getting into that, I want to let you know that Web Innate, the guys that made my website, my real estate website, rickycaruthrealestate.com, is doing no setup fees during the pandemic. Okay, I'm going to put a link below, um, or you can go to zerodiamond.com to hit the Webinate link, and they're going to build you a website just like mine with all the links of the subdivisions in your area, the whole nine yards, a custom website with no setup fee. Okay, so you're going to get a custom website for no setup fee. Also, something else I want you to start doing since you have to stay home. I'm sure a lot of you that go to the gym and exercise can't go to the gym right now. They may have shut your gyms down or you just don't want to go because you don't want to, you know, catch this thing. So a lot of us are trying to work out from our home. And what I don't want you to do is get into this situation where you get into a routine where you just stop working out. Okay, I've been working out at my house every day. I hit shoulders today and then I jogged around the block. So I want you to continue your routine just like if everything was normal. Get up early, you know, drink water, do whatever you have to do, work out right there, hit it as hard as you can, do everything you can do to be the best person you can be through this situation. Now, as far as past clients go, okay, we should call these people first, then we're going to move into people we don't know and continue building our business, building our database. This is the best time to actually build that database and to grow your sphere for when the market comes out of this, you're going to have so much business lined up, it's not even fun. Before I get into the script of what I would do right now in this situation, I want to link a video below that I did a while back about calling past clients that you haven't talked to in a while. Because I know a lot of you might be scared of calling past clients you haven't talked to in a while. You don't know how to reconnect. Um, you're worried about that they might think you forgot about them or whatever the case may be. You're just scared to call those past clients you haven't called in a long time. I made a video a while back that you should really watch about how to handle that situation, how to ease into that conversation and make it very comfortable for all parties. So when we're calling our past clients right now, we're at home, we can't go anywhere, we're quarantined, they're probably quarantined. We're going to call them up and we're just going to say, hey, this is Ricky Kruth. They already know who we are. They're our past clients. They've done business with this or we've talked about doing business. You know, they know who we are. It's going to be a familiar voice. They know your name and they're going to be glad to hear from you. OK, so we're going to tell them who we are. We're just going to say, how are you doing? Like, what is going on? How are you doing through this? And chances are they're going to get into a story about what all's been going on with them. They're at the home. They have kids you know, all this and that, whatever they have going on, they're going to tell you. And you want to listen. You want to listen to what they have going on. That is the purpose of this call is to reconnect and deepen that relationship. Once we get through that part of the call, we may want to tell them what's going on with us because they want to hear. They want to know, you know, they want to tell you what's going on with them and they want to hear what's going on with you. So it's a two-way street and we're going to get into this conversation. We're going to talk like we're family, like we're a friend or family. We want to remember my F.E., Friend or family effect, okay? We want to make them feel as if they are our dad, brother, cousin, mother, best friend from high school. We want them to feel through our voice, through our tone, through the flow, through the speed of our voice, through the relaxedness of our voice, okay? We want our shoulders to be relaxed. We want to talk to them exactly the way that we would talk to our close family members. At that point, we're going to ask them if there's anything that we could do for them in terms of real estate. OK, are they looking to maybe buy when this is all over with? Are they looking to sell when this is all over with? Where do they stand in the real estate you know, world in terms of what they're thinking about doing? And chances are they're going to say nothing. They're just waiting for this to blow over. They're just kind of going to sit tight and that's fine. OK, be ready for those type of answers and just take them as they come. 
and just be there, right? We just want to ask how they're doing, let them tell us how they're doing, tell them how we're doing, and ask if there's anything that we can do for them, and let them know that we're here, and that we're gonna be here regardless. Another very important part of this call is to let them know that you're not going anywhere. You're not gonna let this scare you out of the business. You're not getting out of the business. You're here, your feet are planted, you're not going anywhere, and that's gonna tell them a lot about you, and they're gonna feel more and more comfortable with you as their long-term agent, okay? Their lifelong agent, the agent that they're the most loyal to. They're gonna respect the fact that you're calling them. They're gonna respect the fact that you're staying in real estate and that you're still out here making calls, working hard. So don't overcomplicate this. Don't make it harder than it is. Let's keep it simple. Let's just call our past clients, see how they're doing and deepen those relationships. Let them know that we're here. We're not going anywhere. And I want you to really dig into this, okay? So definitely take this step, stay busy. Through this situation, we just wanna stay busy. Okay, keep putting in the work, don't stop. When we come out of this, I promise you that you're gonna have more business than you can handle. So just hang in there, keep doing what you're doing, keep working hard, don't lose faith, believe in what we're doing. The market's not going anywhere. It may go up or down, but it's not going anywhere. Tomorrow, I wanna to talk about circle prospecting. I wanna go deeper with circle prospecting during this time. So definitely tune in for that video. Let me know what I can do for you. Shoot me a comment, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go.